The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Western University. Schools have closed during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is uncertain when they will reopen. And during the long absence from the classroom, children with special education needs and their parents will suffer. Online learning is not going to be enough. Thousands of children across Ontario, ranging from ones who are gifted to those with learning disabilities, physical disabilities and autism, get individual support in the classroom. These range from enrichment programs to text to speech computer apps and help from educational assistants. Now that vital in-person support is gone. Jacqueline Specht says that the loss is likely to be a jolt to the entire family. Online learning is not going to be a complete solution. Specht is the director of the Canadian Research Centre on Inclusive Education in Western's Faculty of Education. Parents, she says, are going to feel the pressure. They need as much educational health and emotional support as their children. Employers will have to be flexible, kinder and more understanding. Families will need to connect online more than ever with child peers and parents and sibling support groups. Home and school connections are going to become even more vital. Regular video, email and phone check-ins by teachers and educational assistants will be key. For example, teachers need to hear from children and parents that the assigned material is causing frustrations or meltdown. SPECT emphasizes that learning becomes secondary to connecting and communicating. This story was adapted from Deb Van Brink's Western News article, Special Ed Students, Families Being Tested.